Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have got a lot of odds and ends of things to do. So I'm gonna quickly explain what I'm doing now. We have a bunch of breeding that I would like to do. I'm still toying with a lot of things in my head, a lot of ideas because of timelines. There's a lot of different factors for me to figure in. Uh, and also just how the goats are doing production type wise. Also, uh, we have a lot of kids coming. Row two over there is going to have babies anytime. I've already had one set born Saturday night. So I have one now. That means I'm gonna guess that in about a week from now, we're gonna be swamped with a lot of kids. I don't expect to see too many this week, but next week is when it's gonna start and probably the week after we'll just be all gung-ho galore, kidding away. I will get more into detail as to how kidding goes first thing in the spring, uh, but I'm not gonna speak too much on it at the current moment because I got a lot of other things to talk about. Going back to the breeding, we've got a group over here that I would like to breed. This group right here. Yes, I know, the pen is very dirty. I need to bed that yet. I really don't want to. I want to clean the pen out, but red tractor's broken, so I can't get in that door with the orange tractor. So I just got to keep bedding, which that's on the to-do list today. So this group I'm going to breed. Just about all of them. I'm pretty sure all of them I'm going to breed. And... I'm going to select a few from this pen back here I could probably throw in that are about the same size as these ones. They are probably over the seven months old, uh, which means gestation period is five months. So they've got a little under half of their being alive before their kid passed them already. They probably could even be eight months old already by now or nine months. So while I do that, select those, then that back pen is big enough that they don't need to be in that pen. They can be in a smaller pen. So they are probably gonna move up to this pen and they will flop to the back pen. I'm going to throw, I think I have three in here that are small enough that they can handle them. This fluffy La Mancha here, this other fluffy La Mancha, he's on this side of the gate because I think one of those big bullies over there hiked him over. I'm pretty sure because he can't fit through this at all. So there's gonna be three of them in that back pen, which is plenty. And then the rest of these billies, I'm still contemplating on breeding this group. The reason why I'm contemplating on breeding this group is because most of them kitted uh, November, December. And because we are late March, the beginning of March would have given us kids in August. So that would be in September. If I have kids in September, if that group there, kids in September, which is what the plan is, then I have two months of feeding milk before I can handle my next group, which would be this group that needs to get bred. So September, October, we're partially into November, we have kids. If I breed for November, then I have November, December, partially January that I'll be feeding kids. And then the far group that we had kid will need to be bred again for January, which I really like that time of breeding. So I want to stick to my January breeding. That would mean all the way from August to February, the end of February, beginning of March, I'll be feeding kids milk. That's, uh, that's a long time. And that's a lot of milk. That's a lot of kids, boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. So that's why I'm contemplating on skipping the November breeding and having them bred a little earlier. Before I get to moving anybody around, I have a bar to weld on the back of row three so that the next group of goats that I put in there don't get out. That's what I'm gonna do first.
That's how fires are started in a barn. When you get a hot coal that falls in between a crack like that where there's some feed. That's it. I'm gonna call it done. Let's dump some water. And then of course that water all dumped down there. So that part's good. And over here. For all of you people out there that are welders, I am by far from being a welder by trade. I took a course in high school, a little book, do it yourself, learned how to weld according to the book, but I don't practice on a daily basis to know how to weld properly, but I can stick two pieces of metal, metal together as you can see. So if you want to take welding course or welding advice, don't watch my welding, watch somebody else's. All right, so I figured out what I'm gonna do. I had to go grab some zip ties. They were all nicely sleeping in their cozy new beds that I made. What I'm going to do is group in the back of row three there is gonna to move to the front of row four. This group that I'm going to breed is going to move into the back of row four and the back of row four is going to move into the back of row three. The reason why uh, I want to do this group in the back of this pen rather than the back in the other pen is because I don't want the billies jumping over my middle wall. So if they're on an outside wall, then they can't jump and get anybody else bread that they're not supposed to. Um, so we got to do a little bit of switchy rooey aroundy a little bit. I'm not going to put the billies in right away. I need to give them their shots. And in order to give them their shots, I need a couple extra hands. I'm going to wait till my help is around later tonight after chores. And then we can get them all their needles and put the bucks in. But I gotta put this gate up first. We're back. I got all my recruits and our new farm help. This is Madeline. Hi. <laughs> so I got her. She comes and helps milk, and then I also recruited those two, which you guys see quite often, unfortunately. Uh, so we got to move a bunch of goats around now so that we can give our needles to this group here. And everybody wants to chase goats around, right, Madeline? Yeah. So. We're going to chase some goats around. So while I, I go down here and open up the gate, Madeline is opening up that gate and is gonna chase all the goats. All right. 
All right. Those ones over there. Okay, one, one's okay, one couple's okay. <laughs> that one wants to be your friend. <laughs> I just don't want to be mean. Yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> Look at like his tail's wagging <laughs> as you're pushing it around. It's like, All right, now we gotta select some billies. Send them out. So, him, he goes. This fluffy dude guy there, and the other little guy. Yep. Okay, the, the yeah. little guy right there. Not this, those two, those two right there. Hey, you yep. don't have to tell me the And that one. Yep. That one. Ah. Okay, now we gotta move kids. Favorite time, if I move the babies. Just walk that way, they'll follow you. <laughs> 
Over the gate. You need some help? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this one didn't want to walk. Oh, neither do you. Okay, let's go. Well, you can Come on. <laughs> Down there. Go get Kendra. Thank you. <laughs> Come down here. Multiplying as we stand here. Hey, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> I like that. Maddie, do your job. <laughs> Eric, do your oh, job. Eric. <laughs> Come on, Eric. Look, look at them all. <laughs> They're all coming back. Damn green. <laughs> on this side. That's a wrap on the day. We had a lot of fun chasing goats around, needling. We got it all done. I'm really excited, really thankful for the help. I'm really thankful of you guys watching. Also, your comments do not go unnoticed. I read them. I don't always reply right away, but I do read them. And I really enjoy it. You guys are not only teaching me things, 
through the comments, but I'm also able to teach you. And then anybody else watching the video, reading the comments, is learning as well. It's, it truly is a really good source for learning different things. So from our farm to wherever you guys are watching, thanks for watching and God bless. Bye for now.